it was something to do with that cord over there. You don't usually have that plugged yeah, in. Yeah, I don't know. Right, now let me turn this light off. Okay, um, we're back. Let us know if um, you can hear something. Yeah. I'll start over. It got off a dark when I turned that light off, but it was such a, it was too much of a glare. Okay, I guess I'll start over. I'm just going to ex brief explain. To make this turkey pot pie, I put 12 cups, which is three quarts of water in my pot, um, a third a cup of chicken base, or you can use chicken broth. If you're cooking chicken, then you will have your broth from cooking your chicken. And then I put a teaspoon of parsley flakes, a teaspoon of celery salt, a half a teaspoon of garlic salt, and uh, a half of large chopped onion. And I cooked all that for 20 minutes. And then I put three cups, um, it was about, let's see, turkey. I put about four cups of chopped turkey. In, in with my broth, and I cooked that all together because I wanted that turkey to get the flavor into the broth also. Cooked that for 20 minutes, and then I added um, two 12-ounce bags, frozen bags of English peas and carrots, and then uh, two cups of mixed vegetables and, that, and the potatoes, and I cooked them for probably 20 minutes. And so, and then I set it aside. Then I, and just now, I put a stick of butter, which is a half a cup of butter, and um, a, a half a cup of flour to make my thickening. And then I put a can of creamy chicken soup in that. And I have put probably five cups of broth from, from those vegetables. I put the broth in here. You want to get this? You want this thin. You don't want it real thick. And, uh, okay, I think we're good. I, I took, I, I took the, uh, spider and took all some vegetables and turkey out of the broth where I had cooked it. And now I'm going to take this broth that I, this thickening I just made, and I'm going to put it in, in here. And then I will bake it. I put crust. I may um, put one crust on the bottom, and I cooked it till it did not to the brown and not to it's completely done, but enough that it won't take the bottom crust long to cook. I don't like it soggy, the crust, you know, so I cook it just a little bit. Wait, let me get this. They can't see that, I don't think. Would you move it back just a little bit or whatever? Okay. And I put... This is more thickening than what I need for this one pie. But I've got enough vegetables, I'm going to do two pies. So actually what I've done here, all the measurements that I've given you would make a 9 by 13 inch pan. And I kind of thought that a big bigger, one, yeah. it'd make a big pan. So, but I just wanted to show y'all how. Now I'm going to bring, see this is, I covered it, those vegetables. Let me get a spoon and, and uh, kind of. I'm going to kind of stir that broth down in with the vegetables so it'll go down in the vegetables. Don't don't um, go all the way to the crust stirring. Just kind of stir it so that broth will go down in there. I'm going to put a lid. That's going to bubble. That's all I'm going to put in there. Okay, now I'm going to move this over here, and I'm going to put a crust on top of this. Is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. Do you want me to move that over here while you roll that crust out, Mary? Well, you can if you want to. I'm going to roll this crust. And this is a homemade, I made a bulk crust. It's a bulk crust. I, I was telling Linda earlier, I have never made a pot pie that I use bulk crust. I've always made my homemade. But, um... Uh, We're having a tumor, a bad time today. <laughs> Linda thought we, she had a hard time yesterday. <laughs> Is that good or do I need to back good. it up some more? Back it up a little bit. I don't like this We stand. missed our camera lady. <laughs> yeah. uh, 
So I'm going to make this crust to fit that nine. That's a nine by nine inch pan. Let's see, I got my mat here, and that's seven, five is twelve. That's, I think that's good enough. Now, you can have me a, one of those uh, knives out of the, uh, the uh, it, any, any one. I just want to kind of cut this so it won't be, won't be round. I'm just going to kind of cut it. It's not going to be exact, but it'll be. It'll so be. you don't wipe yours over? Well, um... I, I, I do sometimes. Okay. The bottom crust on this one, I did not bring it up to the top because this is a deep dish. I do normally do it just like I would a pie. But now if you'll hand me that back, Linda. Just put it on here. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm just going to put this. And since my bottom crust didn't come all the way up to the top, I'm just going to mash it to the side um, and um, but now more than likely it will bubble up which I'm going to put uh, I just want to make sure that this crust don't come it don't really matter if it comes completely up or not because the filling is going to bubble up Pot pies are kind of rustic anyway, yeah, yeah. you know, so they don't, it's not like they've got to be just perfect like you would do a pie, right? You, right. You can do an egg wash and put on this, but I don't usually, uh, on my, on the homemade crusties, I, um, I put butter. I, I cook this for a while, and when this crust starts getting almost done, then I take uh, some butter and I just smear it all across and then finish cooking it. I don't put it on there now. All right, I'm going to put a couple. So it, because it, it will bubble up. All right, Linda, would you open the oven for me, please? All right. The timer. timer. I'm going to set it for about 25 minutes. Okay. But we'll check it. Okay, we'll move this out of the way. And um, take care of that later. I'm going to put this back in the refrigerator. So, we're starting the new year off with a bang, I'm telling you, Mary. I'm telling you. <laughs> Maybe a silent bang, anyway. Another thing, Linda, uh, we're going to have to get our mics because uh, I noticed on your video yesterday, it was a little hard. It, it, that may be part of the sound because... Uh, but there should be some sound, though, Yeah, right? Yeah, it should be some sound. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, we, so, do, need, we do need to have our yeah. mics on. Yeah. Um, Oh, hand me the cake, please. You know, Linda made a, a coconut, a sour cream coconut cake for our Christmas, and we didn't cut it because I'm going to try my best to lower this a little bit so y'all can see. Uh, so this is what we got left from Christmas. I've given some of it away, and this is my the carrot cake that I made. Both of these cakes are divine. Your, your they red, are so red good. velvet cake they are so, looks like a prize winner. It's The layers are perfect. They're it so was, pretty. It was so good. And this coconut cake is so moist. I mean, it is just... It has the cream of coconut wonderful. in it. Yeah. And we made, I made that uh, live. Yes. Uh, and I made and this live. Made live. But I, so she can go back to other videos if you want to get the a recipe or the recipe is on our members page. Um, but we told y'all, both of us, that we would show y'all what it looked like when it was cut. And so I wanted to show y'all this is the way it is on the inside and they both are delicious. And these cakes have been made several days. Yes. And you can see how beautiful they still both are. You seen me wrap this. This was in the freezer for what, 10 days? Yeah. I, I wrapped this in the container and put it in the freezer, and it tastes like I had just made it. It was and I didn't wonderful. freeze mine, but I did refrigerate yeah. it until the day um, that both, we had it. They're both uh, taste yummy. They are so good. Matter of fact, I'm gonna have. I've already given some of this away, and I'll be giving the rest of it away probably today because I both of them. I love them. Her cherry nut cake was divine too, but I can't eat pecans. 
or not much anyway. And I just that you know that was always my favorite. Yeah. Co uh, cherry nuts. But these were beautiful. They yeah. were very good. They, uh, very so I can't eat too much nuts. So anyway. so each year we say we're going to cut back. We're going to cut back, and each year we keep. Even though we in our head we told ourselves we cut back, we keep adding more. Uh -huh. But Lord willing, and you know we're still here this Christmas. Uh, we are going to, yeah, we, to we, cut yeah. that a lot. We finally accepted the fact. And, you know, that's the hardest thing in the world, Linda. Yeah. It is for me, and I know it is you, to accept the fact that you can't do what you used to do. It's any time you host at your house, I don't care how much help you have. And, and Mary is, you know, she likes to do things herself. And she had some help. I did have you know, some help. But it's still your house, and you're the one ultimately responsible. You, you're the one that knows where everything's at, <laughs> and um, and it and it's a lot of work on that person. There, it was funny. Linda and I was standing here talking before we went on uh, air, and I looked up on top of the refrigerator, and there's uh, a bowl and a pie plate <laughs> that somebody washed and put up, <laughs> and I, that's what I'm saying. It's things. It's it's a lot of things that's not where they belong, and I just keep, when I see something, I try to put it up, but it takes me, it takes me a while. There's things in my drawers that's not supposed to be, that belong somewhere else. It just takes a while to get it all put back together, and I appreciate all the help. Trust me, I do. I had help, and I, I'm not complaining about that. I just have to... I just have to find what I'm looking for and put it back. Yeah. And then y'all had your Christmas that night, your yeah. family Christmas. After after um, the Pinkstons left, then I have my own family's Christmas, uh, my grandchildren and great-grandkids and, and my three kids and their spouses. And, um, and y'all popped firecrackers. And we and popped chocolate. firecrackers afterwards. And I was just trying so hard to stay awake. Chuck wanted to, want, he always pops the firecrackers. And he does a really good job. And he spends a lot of money doing that too, a lot. I give him some, but he spent more than I gave him. And um, he, uh, he enjoys it. And so I, it was kind of cool. It was kind of cool at night, but I just wrapped the blanket around me and <laughs> and sat out there on the porch. And of course, the kids and all—they had a jacket on. It wasn't it wasn't so cold. No, you, it wasn't that really make you cold. sick. Kinley, I was wondering if it would scare her. Didn't sca no, no. She, I, I noticed that her daddy was holding her, and he was. I could tell in the video that he was talking to her and yeah. probably telling her. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you. Uh, uh, it, she probably would have been afraid if her daddy hadn't been holding yeah. her. Because sometimes, I did do a little bit of a clip, little clip. I made a lot of clips of the fireworks. But I could never figure out how to get my camera adjusted to actually see it. All I did was the pops. And then on the last one, I figured out I had to hold my candle up because all them sparkles was in the sky. Yeah. And I didn't even show them until right there at the very last. Yeah, pretty. I watched um, it. But the girls all, the granddaughters and, and little Linda, had a really good time just visiting out on the porch. Yeah, they looked like they had a good yeah, time. Yeah, they did. They had a real good time. Um, and uh, and the kids, too, they were just crawling all over the grass. And, I mean, they was, <laughs> the kid, their parents kept telling them, get off the grass. <laughs> but the, <laughs> well, it's something about coming to Mary's house to their memos that they kind of feel like they're relaxed, they're yeah. free, they know they can run around and... There's a little traffic on this road, but yeah, not, not a lot. Well, that's where Chuck and him was popping the firecrackers in the, the road. The whole time, uh, didn't the car go by? Uh, and Chuck is very particular about picking up trash. He usually carries a five-gallon bucket out there to because he picks up the trash right after he pops it. And uh, do you know what? What? How much trash he had this time? No. Time he on. carried one of those huge garbage cans, and. Full and that, it, of the things that he popped. That's how long he popped firecrackers. Oh it goodness. was full of, of trash whenever he got through. Um, so I didn't show y'all nothing like what he popped. <laughs> you know, when we were kids, I don't remember Daddy buying firecrackers. Uncle James is the one that always had the firecrackers. Yeah, and remember? sparkles. That's and what sparkles. we always did. Yeah, we had sparkles. sparkles. They yeah. didn't do. And maybe, maybe was it uh, Bob Rockets or Roman Roman Some candles? Roman candles. Yeah, yeah, we had those. Yeah, yeah. but uh, we didn't spend much money no. on fireworks because no. um, to to mom and daddy that was wasted money. It was blow. And I never, I never, of course, 
you know, we don't have kids, so there was no reason to have firecrackers for me and mine. So, but Mary's family grew up with her children yeah. and grandchildren. And Chuck and I both did talk that we won't spend as much money on firecrackers next year because it we really did. And it is a waste of money. That's the way I feel, too. I feel like it's just blowing up money in the sky, you know. But the kids enjoy it, you know. And in a, in a way, I think, well, this is one time a year to give those kids memories and something to look yeah. back on. So I just spend it, you know. Uh, and Chuck's the same way. He loves kids. You know, I was just thinking his um, uh, money that I gave him for Christmas, he spent it on the on. On everybody else to give a present. That's that what he sounds, took it. Yeah, that he took it like and bought Chuck. all the little kids. And it just it excites him so much whenever he gives a child. But I'll tell you another thing about Chuck. He expects you to take care of it. <laughs> when he gives you a gift, he he watches to see if you throw it down or if you keep up with it. <clears throat> because he uh, uh, he puts a lot of thought. He puts a lot yeah. of thought in what he gives he the kids. And um, Chuck's a good uncle. Yeah. And so, anyway. And, uh, of course, Einstein. We don't have to worry about Einstein. He can't stand the firecrackers. I mean, he goes and hides. That's Chuck's dog. I was wondering about yeah. that. Yeah, he's getting so old. Yeah. He gets so old. And Chuck is just petting him. I mean, uh, half his grocery bills with that dog. I'm not kidding. I mean, he buys that dog. Yeah. He told me yesterday, he said, Mama, because he went and bought him some new, new um, food. And he said, I got a... Um, uh, watch what I give Einstein. I think he has acid reflux. <laughs> well, animals get, get thing. I mean, I'm not a veterinarian, but I, I know they get other things yeah. that humans Cause get. He, so. And I said, well, maybe he's like us older people that it kind of gets hard to swallow, you know, whenever yeah. you get older. Yeah. At least I, it is for me. And, um... I said, maybe he's just having a hard time swallowing because uh, he is having a problem with swallowing. But he's so old. And you know how he used to just run and chase yeah. you and chase cars? And, and now he just barely walks. After our, after our Christmas that day, Chuck, he follows Chuck around. Everywhere he goes, he's like a little kid. He wants to be right by Chuck. And Chuck made so many trips to his house, and Chuck lives on top of the hill, but he made so many trips go following Chuck back and forth to that night. Chuck said Einstein was wore out. He said he slept all day Sunday because he was so tired from walking up and down that hill. <laughs> anyway, uh, but he follows you, and, uh, and he barks. If he wants a treat, He'll, come, he'll walk up to you and bark. He wants a treat. You give him a treat and he'll walk away. He's, he's, he's just, spoiled. Yeah, he is a little yeah. bit spoiled, but that's okay. Yeah. You know, he's he's been really good for Chuck. He has been good real company. good. I dread the day that something, that it does happen with that yeah. stuff. I It'll dread be the hard day. on him. Yeah, it will. Because uh, uh, me and little Linda, uh, Einstein went missing. Um, Remember a couple of years ago or so, we yeah. couldn't find him, and he had never gone away, and he was gone for probably maybe two weeks. We prayed. Linda says I've never prayed for a dog in all my life. I was <laughs> not a dog person. No, <laughs> and I I was praying too because I Chuck was just devastated, and uh, because I didn't know how I just didn't know how he was going to cope, you know, and so. Um, he came back one day, and he was so tired. No telling. He must have followed a dog away or he something. Could have. Because in, in the woods and got lost or something. But he came back home, and, oh, I was so thankful. I thank the Lord for it, too, I'll tell you. Because um, it's going to be hard on Chuck. I don't know if he'll ever get another one or not. I don't know. You well, know, I wonder with, sometimes. With his age, he probably will. He probably will get another one. Like we won't because, yeah. you know, we're yeah. we're past the age of having a pet for 10, 15, or 20 years. You know, yeah. it's a big commitment. Yeah. He trained that dog. He trained that dog from when he was a baby of uh, going out into the woods instead of uh, doing his thing in the yard. And did you know this day he does not go in the yard? Oh, that's really... He trained him. I don't, don't ask me how he did it, but I don't know if it's just that he's a smart dog or what, but, I mean, he'd go in the woods. He is smart. He would go in the woods. He will not um, do his business on my on the grounds. So, so um, do you have any plans for later today? Today? 
I'm probably going to start laundry. i got to strip the beds and, and uh, towels. I'll probably do some laundry. And, that um, doesn't sound exciting. <laughs> <clears throat> I know I'll do that. And then, um, and off and on, I'll pick up. I won't just do it all at one time, but I'll start taking some of the, the tree down and taking a few things. Yeah. I, I can't do it all one day. I just can't. Time I do laundry. And, um, and this is church night, too, you know, of the church. That's right. Tonight's Wednesday. So, um, Wednesday. anyway, I'm going to try to rest some, but um, uh, what are you going to do? I just got a couple of stops in town that I'm going to make on the way home, and then uh, I'm going to start working on recipes. Yeah. Um, I didn't uh, get home yesterday. To, uh, I didn't, I shouldn't say I didn't get home. I didn't sit down to to chop up the turkey till six o'clock last night. From the time I left your house yesterday, I went and done all the running around I had to do. We had to go by the stores and pick up, had to go to the store. I got home and I fixed, I, I took the food that we had left and I made one, two, three, four, five, six plates. And and I, I, I put, I have the little containers. I put cake, I put cake, Every cake I had, I think I have four kinds of cake here, and I put every one of them, four slices of cake, and um, I think that's what it was. And um, I just bagged up stuff. I just bagged up stuff to take. And, um, and That's a job. And Yeah, it was a job. It, is. it sure was. I had food on the table. It was like I had to put the food out on the table, and then I fixed those lunches. I fixed the lunches and fixed the cakes. I had to put on the top of them their name because I'd forget who I who I had boxed up for. So I put names on them and um, uh, and carried to them. And then um, then I took Chuck to Walmart. He had to dropped him off. He went with me. I dropped him off and um, went to another person's house. Then I come back and done a little bit of grocery shopping. Not much. I, I tell you what I've done. I went to the clearance in Christmas. Can you believe that? I don't need nothing in Christmas. I'm trying to think what I bought. I didn't really buy any. What did I buy Christmas? It was something. What was it? Oh, wrapping paper. It was dollar, dollar and seven cents a roll. And what's it? Why, uh, why? wait till Christmas and, and, yeah. and buy so I bought about seven rows. Remember of, how we used to go the day after Christmas and buy all kinds of stuff? I haven't done that in several yeah. years. Well, um everything was seventy five percent off. I did not buy anything. I think I think the paper is the only thing I bought. I I was going to buy the, the Christmas tree bags, you know that's yeah. on the roller. And I have one from a tree, but I got thinking, well maybe Chuck could put his ornaments, uh, the outside ornaments in these bags. Mm -hmm. And so I had three of them in my basket, and Chuck was in the store, and I called him. And I said, Chuck, do you think these Christmas tree bags would be good to put the uh, ornaments in, the, the uh, inflatables, you know, in for Christmas next year? He said, Mother, don't we have containers that we put them in? <laughs> I said, yeah, Chuck, you're right. So I put, I put them back. Mm -hmm. I didn't buy because... You know, well, I did. They came out of containers. So, anyway. it's um, Sometimes it's easier when you're looking for something to just go get something else. Yes, and, I know. And we, we needed some bags the other day. There was some, uh, you know, when I was putting the white elephant gifts together. Yeah. And uh, so I go in there, and Mike is in the closet in the back room, and he's got, he had to move stuff to get in the closet. Don't even ask. But <laughs> um, And I'm like, Mike, the bags are right here. <laughs> so we we found the bags. He said, "I just didn't want you to have to go buy anything when I know we got something here." But uh, anyway, bags and name tags is something that I usually get at the end of the year yeah. for the following right. year. But um, I just got tired of storing stuff and Me too. trying to put I'm stuff not, up. I, I, I I'll take take it back. I did buy one Christmas present. Did you? I did. That was for little Kenley. It was it was a forty dollar little baking set for fifteen dollars. Well, that's a good buy. Well, that's yeah. a good buy. That's the only only thing I am not. I refuse to go 
uh, buy Christmas presents like I used to do. Yeah. I'm not going to do that because you have to store it. Now that we're storing books and pampered shelf and stuff, I don't have room for the yeah. store Christmas. Shipping supplies. Yeah. You know, it's, it yeah. takes a big uh, <laughs> chunk out of your house. Matter of fact, I just brought ch uh, some shipping uh, envelopes in last night, and I see I haven't even got them put up yet. Uh, I turned this oven up to 375 for that crust. Okay. Because the pie is done. So I'm just wanting that crust to get done so y'all can see it. And it's taking its lovely time. You know what? I told that man when he worked on my stove, he fixed the top. One of them burners, that top one, remember that I told yeah. you that, that always just, it would just get red hot and wouldn't go down? It was burned up when he took it off. He said, yeah. it was burned up. Others was bad too. But I told him I thought my oven didn't it what it is it don't stay the temperature yeah. my opinion i have never tested it but in my opinion yeah. you turn it up and then it cools off before it comes back to temperature right. i believe that and i may be wrong he said it was okay but so he did check it he did check okay. it he checked the oven but i'm just telling you then when i checked it it didn't seem like that it was as hot as it should have been yeah i may be wrong uh, you know, you pay in, pay for insurance and and uh, for appliances and things, and and then it just takes forever to get anything done. My dishwasher make is making a noise. I haven't used my dishwasher in a long time. Do you have insurance on it? Yeah, all my appliances is covered, and uh, so I turned the dishwasher on last night because I had a lot of silverware, and so I just put it all in the dishwasher and turned it, on, and it's making a squealing sound. Hmm. No, I was scared good. to go to bed with it on, so yeah, I waited till it went off. But um, I really do like your refrigerator. I, I do really too. Like My it. kids got me that refrigerator. The only thing about it is, it said that it is uh, uh, no smudge. You yeah. know. That thing smudges worse than the one I had. Stainless steel. Stainless steel. Yeah. But my other one didn't do that bad. This one, I mean, I'm constantly wiping it because I can't stand to look at it because it looks like it's dirty. And I'm constantly wiping that refrigerator off. Mm. So I don't know what it is. I don't know if you're not supposed to use soap. I don't I know. Have I, wonder if, uh, I wonder if Norwix has something to clean they stainless might. steel. I did you get a catalog? I did. I, I got did a catalog too. yesterday. That's I did why too. I thought about yeah, it. I did too. I don't buy that stuff too often. I don't either. I do have a little bit of it. I do too. I bought that mop with the did long you, handle. Do you like has it? Has that I had never used it. Uh, See, uh, I bet Carla's been mopping for me. And I told her one day, I said, um, Carla, um, I got that new mop in there. She said, Time I sat down and read the instructions on it, I could done have the floor mopped. <laughs> I tell you what I, know, I do like. I like their toilet bowl the brushes. I've been They're, looking at I those. Really I don't like have one them. of those. Um, I really like them. But those washcloths. Uh, do you washcloths. Wash, do you wash it in your washing machine? The washcloths? Yeah. yeah, I do. I thought you weren't supposed to. I don't know. I'm not going to have anything I can't wash in a washing machine. Yeah. You remember, Mama never would buy it. something that had to be dry clean. I know that. Yep. If it couldn't right. be washed, you yeah. didn't buy it. Yeah, that's true. Mama wouldn't do it. Uh, and I'm almost as bad. Yeah, me too. I got I got a few pieces that has to be dry clean, but but I I look at that tag, make sure I can yeah. wash it. I don't dry my clothes. Do you? No, I my hang, my wearing I hang clothes. My wearing clothes. I don't them, dry them. Let them dry. I do not dry my clothes in the dryer. I don't either. Blue jeans. I've shrunk some blue jeans before. You know, when my boys and my husband were having blue jeans, you can't you can't dry them on high heat. Sister Jean, years ago, I was probably only what. 19 or so and um i used to help her with her housekeeping and cleaning and cooking and stuff and um i washed one of her blouses it was a brand new oh, blouse no. it was silk oh, and no. i washed it and when when i got through it was about this big <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny yeah. of course it, it upset me at yeah, the time but she just laughed about it yeah. it was it was really funny i don't think yeah. i ever washed her her clothes again <laughs> Yeah, I'm. I'm very. I've always been picky about my clothes. I. I don't care if I have got just a little bit uh, to wash. I won't mix them. I don't mix my yeah. colors. I don't. I wash the darks, oh. the whites. I wash cup towels separate. And that reminds me, I got a lot of <clears throat> Christmas cup towels. I got to take mine out. Do you get Christmas cup towels out and then you change yeah. them? Yeah. Yeah. I've got to change. I got mine all out that too. to do. I sure do. I got all that to do. I sure too. do. Um. Mary has always done that. Whatever the season is, she's yeah. always changed everything. 
and um, I'll, I'll change mine, uh, but I haven't, you know, I don't, I'm not a decorator like Mary is, so I don't do a lot of decorating, but I do try to, you know, change tablecloths and things. I don't, um, I don't do like I used to. I don't. I, the only room that I really decorated was the bathroom. I did, I do have Christmas towels yeah. and, and stuff like that. Well, you did too, didn't you? You did yeah, your bathroom too. I did. Um, because it was the easiest, it was the easiest, yeah. smallest room in the house to do. So, Mike uh, took all that down and, and put the other ones back up. I told Edward and Debbie they were at the house the other day. I don't know what I opened my closet for, but I told him, I said, this is the only room in the house that's true. <laughs> and you can't even see it. <laughs> and who would have thought my closet yeah. would have been straight? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to do some deep cleaning this year. I'm taking one room at a time, but I'm going to do some deep cleaning. And... Um, I got to clean out deep freezes is what yeah. I got to clean out. Yeah. And the little one, yeah, the the, um, the top will stay up. The lid will stay up. The the big chest freezer, you have to physically hold it or prop it up. And I'm too short to reach in the bottom of it. Yeah, so I, I have to have yeah. Mike to help me when yeah. I clean it out. But that's, that's on my list to do hopefully before this month is over. See, it just seems like it's never going to get done. It's getting done. I may have to just show you a picture of it <laughs> when it gets through. I'm so sorry that the the uh, video messed up this morning and y'all didn't get y'all didn't hear. Um, I still don't know why. I don't. Either. I don't know. The only thing is, you had something plugged in, and I don't know what that I, was. Well, I plugged in the the charger because. The, the something must be going wrong with that phone because oh, it was it charged. Okay, it was charged, and uh, and I picked it up not long before we started video, and it said seventeen percent. So I plugged the charger up. I did intend to take that charger off before we started the video. So I don't know if that's what and caused it. Might not it. have been. I don't. Yeah, know. I don't know either. Um, but I, I'm sorry. Maybe y'all can. And I will get the recipe posted. I mean, little Linda will post it. I've got to get it to Linda. She can't do it till I get it to her. But I, what it, when I do the the uh, recipe on the um, webs on the uh, members page, I will put this will do a nine by thirteen inch pan. I did a nine by nine inch today because I was wanting it to get done quicker. But it will the 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 amount of measurements of the things that I told you would do a nine by thirteen inch. So. And if you overcook it, just make you some soup out of it. <laughs> That's what I do. If I make too much, just make some soup. Mm. Um, so, um, I guess Linda will go ahead because um, it's already we already been on an hour. It's been in there twenty five minutes. The and edges are starting. The to get edges brown, are getting but brown, the but done, the middle is it? not done. So I will just post a picture. Or I might come back on live and show it to you so when I dip into it, you can see the thickness of it. I might do that. But Thank y'all for hanging in there with yes, us. Yes. And um, and we're not going to be on tomorrow. We may be out Friday. Yeah. Um, I think we told y'all yesterday that we're not going to have a... Oh, we got to do the birthday drawing. Thank you for reminding for thinking about that. Our December birthday is... Uh, the drawing is... Tabby Knuckles, is that how you say that? Looks like it. Knuckles, Tabby Knuckles. From Louisville, Kentucky. Your birthday was December the 5th. Uh, and I, you gave us your address. So we'll be sending you an apron um, for your birthday. Now, the birthday drawing, it will be for January. Don't start sending me your January birthdays. When you text me your birthday, only text me the ones that, that are, are in January. You know, if your birthday's in February, don't post it. If it's in March, don't post it. We do it one month at a time. So if you have a birthday in January, the last week of January, you can start posting on 903-235-4804. And text us your name, address, and, and the day of and your the birthday. Day the of month your birthday. and the day, not yeah, the, the year. month and the day of your birthday. And we will... Um, and then I'll have a drawing at the end, at the beginning of February for the January birthdays. We try to make sure everybody's got in their, their January birthday. And we'll give you an apron. 
and hey, Mary has to clear out her phone yes. because um, there's just too much on it. So she clears it out, and that's why we don't want them until the last right. week of right. the month. Right. So congratulations to Tabby. Yes, we'll get that in the mail today for you. We sure will. So um, I hope y'all have a great year. Thank y'all for hanging in with us and um, make make some. Um, Make memories with your grandkids and your kids and, and have a good year. And we'll be back tomorrow. No, we won't be back until next week. Um, or we may be out Friday, Friday, but we definitely will be on next Tuesday. We might. See the Lord I'll be ready. After I rest a little bit today and tomorrow, I'll be ready to go go out on Friday. <laughs> I'll be ready for me and her to have some fun instead of cooking. Yes. I mean, cooking's fun. Don't get me wrong. But we but really enjoy. Yes. Yeah, we enjoy looking around and. And seeing what we can, what kind of good sales we can buy. Yeah, we got some gift cards to spend. Oh, too. that's right. Those gift cards. And, oh, I forgot. Catherine, Kath, Kathleen Tyree sent me um, a blade. Did we show the, um, the throws that Susan Foley sent us? You showed that, right? The, the throw that Susan Foley sent us. Did we show those? No, we didn't. Let me get it. Okay. Thanks to Susan Foley for sending Mary and I both each a beautiful throw that has uh, scriptures on it. It's really pretty, real soft. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that beautiful? It's so soft. It is. And um, I actually, I actually have two of these. Somebody else sent me one and there was no name on it. Okay. So, um, do you have one of these? Do you have one of these um, for your mixer? I've got one for my small mixer. Um, well, does it fit your, I mean, it don't fit your big mixer? Mary, um, I'm, I'll have to look. Okay. I don't okay. Wanna, I don't anyway, to thank y'all for sending me one of these. It's called a flex, isn't it? Yeah, it's got flex that flex edge that yeah. scrapes the side yeah. of the, the bowl so you don't have to scrape it down. So, that was so thoughtful. All y'all are so thoughtful. When you hear us say or, or think that we need something, y'all are so sweet and kind and thoughtful to send us something. We appreciate that. Yes. And all those gift cards we got, it was just... And well, beautiful Christmas cards. Lots we, of Christmas cards. We are cards. going shopping with them tomorrow, Friday. Sure will. <laughs> Thank y'all. Don't forget to count your blessings, and we will see y'all Friday uh, having a good time shopping. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.